In this video, I want to show you how we can find this integral. And at first, it seems that these answers are different. For finding the integral of sine x cosine x dx, in the first method, we suppose u to be sine of x. So we suppose sine of x as u. And the reason that this method works, because du or derivative of u is cosine x dx, and if we solve this relation for dx, dx equals du over cosine x. Now, if we substitute u, sine x with u, we have a u, and cosine x, dx is du over cosine x, so we substitute dx with du over cosine x. So we are using u substitution to find this integral. Cosine x with cosine x cancels and we have integral of u du. Based on the power rule, we know that integral of u to the power of 1 du is u to the power of 2 over 2 plus c. But what is u? u is sine of x. So the answer is sine x to the power of 2 over 2 plus c. Now let me show you another method for finding this integral. So we want to find the integral of sine x cosine x dx in another way. In the second method, we suppose cosine x as u. Then du, derivative of cosine, is negative sine x dx. And if we solve this for dx or differential of x, dx equals du over negative sine x. Now we can do the substitution. So this integral equals integral of sine x times by cosine x, but cosine x is u, so times by u. And dx is du over negative sine x. If we cancel sine x from numerator with sine x from denominator, we have negative u du. So this equals negative integral of u du we can move this negative as a coefficient to the outside of the integral and so we can write this as negative integral of u du again based on the power rule this equals negative u to the power of 2 over 2 plus c but u is cosine x so the answer is negative cosine to the 2x over 2 plus c as you can see here, it seems that the answers that we get from this method, from this substitution, is different than the answer that we get from this substitution. But I will show you that the, actually the answers are the same. But before I show you that these answer, these two answers are exactly the same before that, let me show you a third method for finding this integral. For finding integral of sine x, cosine x, dx, the other method that we can use for finding this integral is using an important trigonometric identity, a double angle identity. If you remember from trigonometry identity, sine of 2x is 2 sine of x, cosine x. We have this famous identity for sine of 2x. Sine of 2x is 2 times sine x cosine x. If you attention to this expression here, sine x cosine x is exactly the expression that here we have. If we keep sine x cosine x and we divide both sides of this, this relation by 2 to get rid of these two here, what we have from this relation? By dividing both sides of this relation, by 2, if we divide both sides of this by 2, we have sine x cosine x equals 1 half sine of 2x. So we divide the left side and the right side by 2. 2 with 2 cancels and then we have sine x cosine x. And in the left side we have sine of 2x over 2 which we can write it in the form of 1 half sine of 2x. So this expression here Instead of this, we can write 1 half sine of 2x. 
and we want to use this for finding the integral so this integral equals integral of so this equals integral of one half sine of 2x for finding this integral we can move the one half to the outside so we have one half integral of sine of 2x dx and I have to write dx here as well so dx now for finding this integral attention we have a simple sine of 2x this is a simple expression integral of sine is negative cosine so this equals so this integral equals don't forget we have a one half here so we will write the one half here integral of sine of 2x is negative cosine of 2x plus c but don't forget because we have a 2x here not x if it was sine of x the integral of sine of x is negative cosine x negative cosine x but this is sine of 2x so the integral is negative cosine of 2x but because it is 2x we have to multiply the answer by the reciprocal of the coefficient the reciprocal of the coefficient which is 2 so the answer of integral of sine of 2x is one negative one half cosine of 2x the reason that you have to multiply cosine of 2x by one half is that the derivative of cosine is negative sign the negative with negative cancels and then we have sine of 2x but based on the chain rule we have to multiply by derivative of the inside derivative of 2x is 2 and this one half is here because we want to cancel that two with this one half. The other way that we can use for finding the integral of sine of 2x is simply choose 2x as u, then find du, and then you can get to this answer. So finally, the integral of sine x cosine x dx is negative one fourth cosine of 2x. 1 half times 1 half is 1 fourth so let me erase this and write it simply as negative 1 fourth cosine of 2x plus c now I want to show you that all of these answers are exactly the same they seem different at first but we will see that the answers that we get from this method which is u substitution which is sine of x u the answer that we get from the other method and finally from this trigonometric identity method the answers are exactly the same so it doesn't matter which method you use for finding integral at the end if you do the steps correctly the answers are always the same but why this answer for example is the same as this answer so I want to show you that so I want to prove to you that negative cosine to the 2x over 2 plus c is the same as sine to the 2x over 2 plus c. Before I start, attention that the constant that we add to the answer of the integral is an unknown number and these unknowns can be different in all different methods. So the constant that if here we have is not the same as the constant that here we have. Maybe here we have plus 2, but here is plus 3 and here is plus 1, for example. So, attention that the constants are not the same. So, let me erase this C here and substitute that one with C1, for example, here. And let me erase the C here and substitute this with C2. Again, the reason that I am doing this is that the constants are not necessarily the same when you are finding integrals. Now, I want to show you that this expression, this answer is exactly this answer. So let us start. So we want to prove that negative cosine to the 2x over 2 plus c1 is equal to this if you remember from trigonometric identities if you remember the pythagorean identity sine to the 2 
plus cosine to the 2 is 1. From this identity, cosine to the 2 equals, if we move sine to the 2 to the other side, cosine to the 2x is 1 minus sine to the 2x. So, we can substitute this cosine to the 2 with 1 minus sine to the 2x. So, from this identity, this expression equals negative 1 minus sine to the 2x all over 2 plus c1. Multiply negative in the bracket, then we have negative 1 plus sine to the 2x all over 2 plus c1. Now, please attention. Here we have sine to the 2x over 2 sine to the 2x over 2, which is exactly this expression that here we have. The other thing that we have is negative 1 half, which is a constant, is a number. This number plus c1, so attention, this is a number, this is a constant, this is an unknown constant. When you add a number to another number, the answer is at the end, a constant, a number. We can name that number whatever we want. So, by adding negative one half to C1, we have another number, which is unknown definitely, but we can name it whatever we want. So we can name it C. And if we name it C, then you can see that this is exactly this answer. So we prove that this answer and this answer are equal. Now let me show you. So let me erase this. I want to show you that the answer that we have from the third method, this answer, is also equal to this answer. So I want to show you that negative one fourth cosine of two x. So want to prove that negative one fourth cosine of 2x plus c2 is equal to sine to the 2x over 2 plus c. If you remember from double angle identities, cosine of 2x equals 1 minus 2 sine to the 2x. If we use this and we substitute cosine 2x here with this expression, let's see what happens. So we want to substitute cosine 2x with 1 minus 2 sine to the 2x. So we have negative 1 fourth, 1 minus 2 sine to the 2x plus c2. If we multiply negative 1 fourth in the bracket, negative 1 fourth times 1 is negative 1 fourth plus Negative 1 4 times negative is positive. 1 over 4 times 2 is 1 half. So we have 1 half sine to the 2x. And we have plus c2. Now if you attention, this term is exactly sine to the 2x over 2. Here again we have a number, a constant, plus another constant. You can name it whatever you want. So this equals 1 half sine to the 2x. If we name negative 1 half, 1 fourth, plus c2, negative 1 over 4 plus c2 as c, then you can see that this answer is exactly this answer. So in this video, we showed that when we are using different methods for finding one integral, the answers may be different may seem to be different, not really different. But actually, if we use identities and relations from algebra, we can show that the answers are the same. I hope you liked this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and see you in the next videos.